What's up Ash Ads? Computing Ash here and welcome to What is Trouble in Terrace Town. In this video I'm going to be going over what is Trouble in Terrace Town and how to play it. So if you join any Trouble in Terrace Town server inside of Gary's Mod and you press F1 you're going to be presented with this tutorial menu. A lot of people don't read this menu, there's a lot of key information here so I'm going to read it for you guys so buckle up. It's all about traitor versus innocent. A small group of traitors is randomly picked. Together they have to kill all the innocent. The innocent do not know who is a traitor and who is not. The traitors need stealth and guile. They are outnumbered. Round starts, there's a group of innocents and a group of traitors that are selected. The traitors know who other traitors are. The traitors need to kill all the innocents in order to win. In order for the innocents to win, they need to kill all the traitors. Bing, bang, boom. Pretty straightforward so far. If you die, you will not respawn until next round. Innocents will not know you are dead until they find your corpse. So once you spawn in and you're alive, in the tab menu, you're under the terrorist section. Once you die, you go to the missing in action section. Once someone IDs your body, you then go to the confirmed dead section. In this quick video in the tab menu on the bottom left, the detective is in the missing in action section. That means that someone killed the detective and his body is unID'd. If we go a little bit further in the game, he goes to the confirmed dead section. That means someone found the body of the detective and he's now ID'd. And if you read the top right hand corner of the screen, bam, someone found the body of the detective. Corpses may have information that leads to the killer. Pro tip right now, if you hold Alt and you press E on an unidentified body, it will not confirm and identify the body. In this quick video demonstration, you're walking around, you see an unidentified body, you walk up to it and you press E. You'll always see these four basic icons, the player's name, how long ago they were killed, their role, and how they died. In this case, this player fell to death. Other bodies may have more information. As, uh, as you see here, I go over to another body. On this body, it says that he was shot to death with a silent sniper. It tells you the weapon there, and then the player also killed another player. Traders can buy special equipment. Their equipment menu can be opened by pressing C. Detectives are innocent players who can also buy special equipment to help them fight the traders. If you're a detective and you press C, you'll get the top left menu. If you're a trader and you press C, you'll get the bottom right menu. Pro tip, there's a transfer tab in each menu. That's how you transfer credits to your teammates. Okay, so to buy something, you simply click an icon. As you see, both of them have an icon clicked. In the top right-hand corner of the menu, it'll tell you the name of what it is and what it does. In this case, body armor reduces your damage by 30% when you get hit. Each icon has a number in the top left-hand corner. That is what slot that item will go in. So if you already have an item in that slot, you cannot buy a T-weapon to override that slot. You need to use that T-weapon or drop it. As innocent, do not kill too easily. Killing other innocents costs you points and karma. We'll get into that later. Make sure you're shooting a traitor. As a traitor, hide the body. Innocents get valuable information from corpses like we just discussed. As traitor, communicate and cooperate. Cause distractions. Lead targets into traitor traps and cover up the kills of your fellow traitors. As detective, search bodies. All innocents can see the results you find. If a detective identifies a body, you see extra information than if an innocent would just identify the body. And once the detective identifies the body, everyone can see that extra information. So it's good for the detective to identify a lot of bodies. You may find the following keys useful. Q will drop whatever weapon you have currently selected. C will open your equipment menu as we discussed before. Shift will send you into a voice chat with only your fellow traders. So only traders can hear and talk into it. And to set your suit zoom for binds as you see a lot of players using. I'll uh, show you that too in this little video demonstration. So to set your chat keys in suit zoom, simply hit escape, go to options, keyboard settings, scroll down to communication. Use voice communication that is to talk to everyone, not just your trader buddies with shift. So for mine, it's caps lock to talk to everyone. For public chat message, it is I. And for team message, to only talk to my fellow trader or fellow detective buddies, mine is you. Uh, for suit zoom, you just scroll down a little bit more and you just bind suit zoom to a key. And it's pretty self-explanatory from there. You can figure it out. Uh, just use the number of keys. Your karma starts at 1,000 and goes down if you damage players who are on your own side. It goes down less if their karma is lower. So if you kill someone with the low karma, your karma isn't penalized as much. If your karma is low when the round starts, you will get a penalty to your weapon damage that round. If your karma is at 900, you'll deal 90% damage. If your karma is at 800, you'll deal 80% damage. 700, 70%, pretty easy way of figuring it out. By playing clean rounds where you don't harm teammates, you regain karma. Innocence also gets some for hunting traders. So by playing the game and by not killing people on your own side, your karma goes up. 
by not doing that and killing people on your own side, karma goes down. The karma value shown on the scoreboard updates only after the round ends. During a round, someone's true karma might be lower, so only use the karma at the very end of a round or at the very beginning of a round. If you're hanging with someone who has like a 600 karma, they're going to take like eight shots to kill you or something, so you don't really got to worry that much. So that's kind of kind of the perks there of doing the karma. That's it, guys. That's all the video. That's all six pages. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you now know how to play Trouble and Terrace. I hope you're going to play now. Dinkelberg's TTT. Check it out. Uh, check out some other videos, too. If you want to check out my How to Be a Successful Innocent series, left side of the screen, How to Be a Successful Trader series, right side of the screen, How to Be a Successful Detective series, which isn't going to be that, that in detail because it's mainly just How to Be Successful Innocent plus a little bit. But anyway, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one.